Elijah Sageman and I go to the new school for Jewish studies. It's a Sunday school, a Jewish Sunday school, and we do art night. And, we're, and this project is, it was for Tuba Shvat. It was about like trees and stuff. And so we made little environments with sticks and clay and stuff. Pointing out, like what the different parts well, are and how you constructed it. These, we just put glue on the bottom of all this, and we stuck the, the trees down with clay, and we just used sticks and paper, and like there were lots of different kinds of beans and stones and just little sticks and stuff. So we used a lot of different stuff. And everybody has their own thing that they make. Like in some of them, they have like birds' nests, and some they have swings and benches, and like there's like all the different kinds of things. Hi, I'm Annette O'Donnell from Royce Moore School, which is at 640 Lincoln in Evanston. And Royce Moore goes from junior kindergarten all the way through senior year of high school, and I teach art to the first through fourth graders. And this is our exhibit for this year. Um, at this table, we have paper mache pigs, which were done by the third grade students, and we painted them in the style of Oaxacan artists of Mexico. And these are handmade books, which were done by fourth graders, and they are also painted in the Oaxacan style. Over here, we have some woven people. Our third and fourth graders did these woven people. They made their own looms, and then they used yarn to weave and some of them uh, made them look like themselves and some did you know more fantasy like people and uh, the first graders just did free form weaving and they could embellish that with beads if they wanted to um, we did these exploded geometric forms that was a second grade project they were to uh, it was sort of a math art kind of a thing where they were looking at geometric shapes and then exploding them and assembling a collage. This is um, our third grade highlighted artist, Olivia Mulholland, fantastic artist, so we wanted to highlight some of her projects and yeah, she's, she's really good. Um, second grade did some embroidery. We were studying farm in school at that time so they could do some fruits and vegetables that we were studying were grown on the farm or they could just create their own design.